yarn sensation. Just click on my yarn lady or click the subscribe button. Okay, for the dress, I'm just making a really quick and simple dress for my bunny girl. And you may have to adjust the chain stitches to fit yours, depending on the type of yarn that you used and how you crochet. You know, whether you crochet loose or tight, or you added a little more stuffing to your bunny girl than I did so just play with it and adjust it but it'll be the same pattern no matter how many stitches or chains that you use so I have um colors of pink and I have this white I may add it as well but I'm not sure as of now but I'm gonna start with my first color and you want to chain 22 Once you have 22, you just want to join into your first chain. You want to chain two. You will place one double crochet in each chain around and you will have a total of 22. And I am carrying my yarn tail. Okay, once you get back around, you just want to join into your beginning chain two. You can chain one. You can cut your yarn. You can join your second color in the same stitch. You want to chain two. Once you chain two, you will be completing double crochet back posts around and back to your chain two. So you just want to wrap your yarn around your hook, place it in between your stitch, go over that double crochet pull up a loop and complete a double crochet. Once again, wrap your yarn around your hook, go in between those two double crochets, over that double crochet, pull up a loop and complete your double crochet. And you just want to repeat that around back to your chain two and we will meet back. Okay, once you get back around, you need to join into your chain two. You want to chain two. And you will repeat your back post double crochets back around to your chain two and you want to complete a total of one two three more rows and we will meet back just completing back post double crochets for the next three rows okay once you have completed your three rows of back post double crochet the next thing you want to do is join into your chain two you want to chain one two three you will be joining into the next stitch you want to chain three one two three and join in the next stitch and you just want to repeat that around and we will meet back and 
and when you get back around you want to chain three for that last stitch and join in the beginning chain three you can fasten off your work next you can weave in all of your yarn tails on to the wrong side of your work and once you complete that then you can turn it to the right side okay you just created a cute little adorable skirt for your bunny girl what i will be doing next where you created your chain of threes around the entire bottom i cut four inches of yarn and i have 22 of them and i'm just going to attach one to each chain three space and i can show you how i do that it just place your hook and it'll be similar to how we added the hair onto a doll and just fold your yarn piece into half and pull it through and you just want to pull both yarn tails through that loop you want to make sure that you pull to tighten and that's what you will have and you just want to continue around and if you prefer not to use this part you can leave it without this extension Okay, and this is what I have once I add the bottom to it. Okay, so this is beautiful as a skirt as well. You can make a separate piece for the top. I will be adding a top, but it will be attached to it as well. And I will also be doing the attachment so that it will be able to hang from my bunny girl. And I will also show you at the bottom the reason I added this. I plan to add glitter to the bottom. And the glitter that I will be using I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I will show you a final look of the glitter once I add it to the bottom. So for the top, you want to start at the back center and add whichever color you prefer. I will be using the same color my first color and I just want to join it and you just want to single crochet around the top just place one single crochet into each stitch and we will meet back once you get back around you just want to join into your first single crochet 
chain one you want to place one single crochet into the next four stitches you want to chain six you want to skip the next one two three four five and you will place a single crochet into that six stitch and then you want to single crochet across you will place a single crochet in the next one two three four stitches a single crochet into the next stitch and chain six one two three four five six you want to skip one two three four five stitches and you will place a single crochet into the sixth stitch and you want to place a single crochet in the remaining stitches and when you get back to your beginning single crochet you just want to slip stitch into that stitch chain one cut your yarn and you have completed your little bunny dress <laughs> Okay, everyone, I just want to thank you so much for spending a little time.